Unaware that he was about to discover something that had been buried for decades, a young guy named Kaspar set out for a morning trek in the Estonia swamp. He discovered what appeared to be a boat lodged in the earth by taking the less traveled route. So make sure to subscribe and to follow our channel for more stories. Kasper was eager to visit the Estonian swamp on this typical morning. The small child arrived and saw that there were two paths in front of him. The first track was well liked by local hikers, whereas the second hardly qualified as a trail. Kasper started to move after deciding which trail he wanted to take. He didn't have to travel far before reaching Lake Kurtna Matashar. The lake was a respectable size, measuring 53,820 square feet though. Casper didn't give the lake's potential uses any consideration, that is, until he became aware of some odd symbols on its outside. As if the markings weren't strange enough, Casper's next observation left him perplexed. A rope with what appeared to be a boat anchor was next to the odd markings on the ground. However, no one launched their boats into this lake since it was just too remote. However, Casper was inquisitive, so he dug through the muck to retrieve the rope from the soggy ground. He then began to pull. Casper, a young boy, wasn't really strong enough to move whatever was embedded in the earth. As soon as he arrived home, he informed his parents of what he had discovered. They were unsure of the nature of the object beneath the surface, and Casper unaware that he was about to unearth a World War II tank that fought on both sides, the young lad discovered a lost piece of history. More villagers arrived quickly after Casper brought his parents to Lake Kurtna Matasharv. They were interested in what the young child discovered when exploring the Estonian swamp off the usual path. A dozen or more powerful men and women attempted to pull the rope, believing that if they exerted enough force, the thing would emerge. Sadly, they lacked sufficient strength, so they decided it was time to call the police. Amazingly, the object remained stationary between the massive bulldozer and the crowd. It was obvious that Lake's subsurface was huge. Sadly, they were clueless on how to remove anything that big and hefty. They quickly devised a scheme after realizing that tying them all to the bulldozer had little to no effect. It took the citizens of the town a good eight hours to make any progress with the mysterious device, connecting steel cables to the ropes, using manpower and a great deal of horsepower. Even Casper offered a little assistance when he could. They finally succeeded in bringing the large metal object to the surface with one last dig and drag. It was a tank from World War II. They had just uncovered a historical artifact that had been hidden beneath Lake Kurtna Matashark in the Estonian swamp. Experts had to inspect the tank and completely remove it from the lake, which took two weeks. They then started their research after that. It turned out to be a T-34-76, a manufactured by the Soviet Union, and astonishingly, despite spending many years submerged, it was in immaculate shape. Experts think the tank was taken by Germans and repainted with their own markings after closer examination of the white numbers and symbols. And as it turned out, there were some battles on the eastern Estonian Narva front with a large number of men and tanks moving through the marshy swamplands around Lake Kurtna Matasharv. The curators conducted extensive investigation before discovering that on September 19, 1944, the German forces started to withdraw from the Narva front. For many years, the tank and its ammunition were submerged underwater. That is, until an adventurous young lad ventured into the marshy swamps of the Estonian swamp. The T-34 World War II tank is currently proudly on display in a war museum in the town of Gorodenko.